Hello guys, welcome back to AV. Today I got a review for you on a new pod system from UL, the Whirl T1. Let's get into it. This is sent to me from UL for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much. It's not gonna change my opinion of this Whirl T1 pod system. We're gonna dive down. I'm gonna show it to you, give you all the specs and information that you need, and let you know what differentiates this one from other pods. See you in a minute. So this is the package that the Whirl T1 pod by UL comes in. And you get your pod and a user manual and some paperwork and promotional stuff. So here it is, the Whirl T1 pod system by UL. It only comes with a single point. It only comes with a single 0.75 meshed uh, coil with it. It's not compatible with any other coils. There's no button on it. It says Whirl. Okay, it's triangular. USB Type C on the bottom does not come with a charger. So once again, I'm kind of stumped on that. Holds three mLs of e liquid. It's uh, 14 watt, 15 watt, and 16 watt on the three different increments. I'll show you how to use that. It's made out of PCTG and aluminum alloy. It's 104.3 millimeters tall, 25.7 millimeters wide, 25.5 millimeters thick. Pretty much cyan triangular, right? 1300 milliamp hour internal label battery. And yeah, 53 grams in weight. All right. It's got a 0.75 meshed coil. All right. Refillable pod, which I'll show you. Here you can see your e liquid. It's triangular. As you can see, right? Airflow, airflow, and airflow. So you could take the pod off. That's how it looks. That's one color option. This is the one I've been using, is this color option. So, right? Put that in there like that. And it's got two lights, right? So if I turn this the other direction, one light. So the one light's 14 watts, the second light's 15 watts, the third light's 16 watts. If I go zing, zing, pop that in there, it's three lights. I'll put that in there, it's two lights. All right, so depending on how you put this in, it's gonna let you get different wattages. You can buy additional uh, pods, they come in two pieces, two packs, and you can't change the coil out with it. You only can buy the whole thing itself, right? So if I pop this off and flip it, you can see here, that's you fill it. It's got that like nice little, you push in, it'll fill it up and you're good to go. So let's go back up top vape on it. I'll give you my final thoughts. Back from the close up on the World T1 pot system by UL. So, what do I have to tell you about this? Well, pros and cons. Um, it doesn't come with a USB Type-C cable, which is a con. I don't know why they've been doing that recently. Uh, if it's the first one, they don't have another cable, they can't charge it. So, it's kind of, I, I really don't get that. Uh, it has three different wattage outputs by one watt. On one coil, it only comes with a 0.75 coil. You can't use any other coil with this. Um, so, just keep that in mind. I have it on the 15 watt. Bolt the lug. It's a loose bolt the lug. If I switch it over to that's 14 watts. Let me go to 16. Hold on. Zing zing. Zing. There we go. There's also a red switch inside that I didn't show you down low. And that can tighten up the airflow for you. If they think the draw is too open or for a restrictive, for if you want a restrictive mouth to lung, you can close that red thing on the side of the pod and you can adjust more and fine tune the airflow. So the airflow options on this is nice. I have to give it a pro for that. <clears throat> One type of coil, <clears throat> a 0.75. 
Some people might like that. Some people might not. Um, no button on it. Okay, it's just straight like you switch the pod for different wattages, right? Um, Flavor is decent. Uh, wick's good. <clears throat> Vape's nice. It's nice and warm. Decent battery life on. You're only doing 16 watts, you know, so 1200 milliamp hours is pretty good. Um, easily see the e-liquid, 3 mLs. It's pro. You can use whatever you want in here. Um, airflow adjustability is nice. You can fine-tune it, like I said, and really get a very tight mouth-to-lung or a loose kind of mouth-to-lung. So it's definitely a mouth-to-lung pod system. Uh, if you're looking for a mouth-to-lung, something cheap and inconspicuous that you can use on the go, this might be for you. Just remember, if you don't have a USB Type-C cable, to purchase one separately so you can actually charge it. Um, I still don't understand why they not adding those to these products but uh i guess that's another conversation but that's what i got for you today guys hope you found the video helpful and for one of stay juiced up screw lighting up don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel i'll catch you guys on the next one peace